Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. A couple of stories to go over today as the transfer window gets a bit more hectic for Celtic. One of the stories extends from yesterday's video surrounding Dominic Lavakovic as his supposed agreed deal to Celtic was quickly rubbished. That and the exit of a player who I was a very, very big fan of. It's a sad episode of Celtic Transfer Talk today for me. Keep me in your prayers. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Thank you for the support thus far during the summer. Things are starting to get a little bit busier day by day. We're seeing stories trickle out, whether it's players linked with the club or players leaving with the club. We've got a bit of both in today's edition. All my opinions, etc. So if you enjoy, please go down below, hit those buttons. It's absolutely free. Shall we get into it? Now, you remember yesterday the headlines surrounding Croatia goalkeeper Dominic Lavakovic. He was linked with the club and some outlets in Turkey even went as far to suggest that Celtic had agreed a deal to sign him this summer transfer window. We spoke about that on the channel yesterday in the video, a video very quickly that was pretty much useless. And I said it in yesterday's video, a lot of people took the time out of their day to jump into the comments straight away and tell me it was nonsense and that it was never going to happen. When I essentially said that throughout the entire video, I said it was probably a lot of nonsense. And um, it was, because it was proven very, very quickly by a couple of different sources that that headline linking Dominic Lavakovic to Celtic was just not to be believed. This was the article that came out yesterday. We went over it. Photo Mac in Turkey suggested that Celtic had agreed a £7.5 million deal to sign Dominic Lavakovic as Jose Mourinho greenlighted the sale. That was the words of Photo Mac. It was then ran with by, of course, the Daily Record who posted the headline saying that the offer was accepted. And within an hour of it being posted, and just as I uploaded my video, we got word from a couple of sources that it just wasn't the case. Isaac Antisucic put this up very, very quickly following the records post on Twitter with the word and the response, no. Just simply, no. He then followed that up later in the evening with a tweet saying that Dominic Lovakovic won't be joining Celtic. Not a single word was exchanged between Dominic, his team and Fenerbahce on that matter. Rumours from Turkey and Scotland were completely false. Everything has been confirmed by his public relations agent, Stipo Dubravic. So, it has been confirmed by... Uh, more reliable journalist, that being Isaac Antisucic. He was also the journalist that reported the transfer of Josip Juranovic to Celtic. Um, and it's also been confirmed by the public relations team of Dominic Lavakovic. A source that probably couldn't know more on the matter. Um, I trust their word. So, speaking to the mainstream media in Croatia, I believe I might be wrong on where the publication is from, but I believe it's Croatia. Anyway, the public relations manager that we've been speaking of, Stipo Dubravic, he said this, he said, it's totally incorrect, feel free to write that, we have officially denied this falsehood, we don't know where they got it from, there was no talk of it at all, Dubravic has told us on behalf of Dominic Lavakovic. So, there you go. The entire thing, totally rubbished, down the pan, and to be honest, not surprised. So a bit gutting if you had your hopes up on the potential signing of Dominic Lavakovic, but I can't say I'm surprised whatsoever. If you did watch my video in full yesterday in its entirety, rather than just the opening few minutes of it, you'll know that I said as soon as Football Insider were involved anywhere in this story, I had no faith whatsoever there was truth to it. Um, it also just seemed like something that came from nowhere with not a lot of substance to it. And I'll reiterate the point that I made. Yeah, there's little things in the original story that made sense. You know, if Mourinho wants a new keeper, if he was happy to let Lovakovic move on, if Celtic were alerted to the availability of the player, 
then there was always a chance. But if you got your hopes up, I'm sorry to have them crushed for you. Um, but there was just too many red flags. The wages being one of them. Christ, we were talking about Celtic not willing to pay Paolo Bernardo's wages in the same day. So to not pay his wages, but then go and try and match a 52,000 euro a week contract of Dominic Lovakovic, it just seemed totally unfeasible to me. Um, so it's officially been rubbished now. Dominic Lovakovic is somebody who I would of course love um, to have at Celtic. I think he would be the greatest option out there for us in terms of uh, replacements for Joe Hart. I don't think there's many better. And I'll make this point perfectly clear. If this story was to be revisited in any capacity, if there was legitimacy to it, in the sense that Lovakovic could move on from Fenerbahce this year, if there's any room for a potential deal, Celtic should explore that deal. Um, if he is being transfer listed, if he's available, absolutely inquire about it. Um, but the whole thing about the £7.5 million pound bid is completely false, entirely fake. Um, and any contact whatsoever seems entirely fake as well. So we can put this one to bed for now. A bit of a gutter, I know. But listen... You've just you've got to look at the sources, um, and as I said, Football Insider isn't really a good one. So when it comes to sources, we don't need one for this because we've got word straight from the horse's mouth, as the saying goes, about Siad Haksabanovic leaving Celtic. Yes, his move was made official this afternoon as the player himself posted his new photographs in the Malmo kit. His transfer has been confirmed. He's now a Malmo player joining the Swedish side from Celtic and an undisclosed fee transfer. There has been no details yet that have emerged uh, surrounding how much Celtic have got for the player. Um, so we await to find out if any profit has been made on Siad Haksabanovic. But he has left. The summer clear-out has begun. Um, and for a player who, yeah, he might have been forgotten about at Celtic, wasn't here last season, of course he was on loan to Stoke City, but somebody who came in for a little bit of money was on a pretty decent wage, um, it's somebody that we had to get off the books, and as I mentioned in the intro to today, today's video, one that makes me rather sad. It's unfortunate the way things panned out for Siad Haksabanovic, because he was someone who, you know, you remember, um, I was so buzzing when we signed him and very very quickly I made it abundantly clear that I was a big fan of Siad Haksabanovic. I got him on the back of my shirt um, you know just to live up to the the meme that was me begging us to sign him and uh, I really wanted him to do well and he, he had periods of time in that first season under Ange where he did do well but you know injury problems, inconsistencies, they came into play then when Brendan Rodgers came in, he was just never really part of the plans. It just it was a move that never worked out for Siad. I don't think he was necessarily a bad player either. Um, I just think he struggled to get going. You know, he came into a Celtic side really competitive on that left-hand side. You've got to remember in that season he joined, we had both Dyson Maida and Jota still here at the time. It was never going to be easy for Siad to break in and, and be that consistent starter on the left-hand side. Um, but he gave us a couple of big goals, a couple of nice moments, and I think people will appreciate his farewell to the club. This was his Instagram story uh, today, announcing his departure from Celtic. He said that, so my time at Celtic has come to an end, earlier than I thought and expected and wanted. And some other people had other opinions, and I've got to respect that. I want to thank the players, the staff, and the fans, because that is really what Celtic is about. We had some good memories together, and I will always have love for Celtic. He then goes on to make it very, very clear, as you can see at the bottom of his Instagram post, that Celtic are fucking massive. Pardon my French, it was Sead that said it, but there you go. Uh, wishing us all good luck and giving us quite a nice goodbye, especially for someone who had quite a tough time at the club. Um, but it's nice to see him go in such high spirits. The interesting part of that farewell, of course, is the the lining that, that you know, maybe questions the, the, the faith in him and the opinions of him. Um, and I don't know if that's a dig at maybe Brendan Rodgers um, for not picking him and not using him. But uh, nonetheless, look, it was a move that was inevitable this summer. I wish she had the absolute best in the future of his career. I'll be keeping a close eye on him, don't worry. Um, and if he starts playing well for Malmo... I will be on the blower to Rogers to get him back. Don't don't you worry. Yep, I'll be keeping a close eye on you, Sead. Best of luck, my man.
It's a move that I would like to imagine Celtic have made some profit on considering he joined from Ruben Kazan in 2022 for a fee of around £1.5 million. So it wasn't a hell of a lot of money we spent on him. Of course, remember at that time there was a, a mass exodus of players in the Russian league they were leaving due to the ongoing conflict. So we picked him up quite, quite cheap considering the talent that he was supposed to have. Um, will they make profit? I don't know. Uh, we can't really justify it, but at the same time, you'd like to think they've maybe pushed for a couple of million pounds from Malmo. We'll just need to wait and see if any details emerge. But that's one player off the books for the preparation uh, of the summer transfer window. We'll see where it goes from here. But I'm sad. I'll always represent you, sad. Always. So that's it for today. There's your couple of updates on things as it stands no other big news in regards to celtic at this moment in time but don't worry if anything comes out you know where to come i'll be right here uh, to talk about it all we'll hopefully have a live stream maybe tomorrow night as well depending on the news so thank you for tuning in like and subscribe let me know your opinions in the comments below and i'll see you all next time